Winning the first outright WAC title in program history and an undefeated season was enough to win Coach June Jones the WAC Conference Coach of the Year, but was it enough to get him the national award? <laughs> Apparently not, despite leading Hawaii to the only undefeated record in not just school history, but in all of Division I football this year, Coach Jones was not given the award. Instead, June finished in third place, receiving seven out of a possible 58 votes. So who was the winner, you ask? That would be Kansas coach Mark Mangino, who received 28 votes. The Jayhawks posted an 11-1 record and were one victory away from playing for the national title. We're still weeks away from the Warriors and their Sugar Bowl, board, uh, Sugar Bowl showdown with Georgia, but that does not mean the Warriors can afford to take any time off. This morning, Hawaii hit the field without pads. The starters are taking some time to rest up, so the second string has gotten some reps lately. The Warriors have two weeks left to study up on Georgia. Still, they're really grateful that that is the only studying left to do. <laughs> no, I'm glad I don't have class. It's the best thing in the world, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, obviously, um, uh, to be done with school is just an awesome feeling. I'm just so glad, you know, all you kids out there, man. You know, the great thing about going to school is knowing when you're done. And <laughs> so that's the great part. So I'm done, and that's a great feeling. That's why I'd encourage you to stay in school to be done one day. <laughs> Well, very candid. KGB9, the home of the June Jones Show, has you covered for the Sugar Bowl as well. When Hawaii meets Georgia, Steve Uihara, Liz Chun, and myself will have reports from New Orleans. Like Colt Brennan in the Heisman and AP Player of the Year voting, UH Warrior football coach June Jones finished third in the voting for the AP Coach of the Year honor. That was announced today. Jones got seven first place votes, putting him behind runner up Gary Pinkle of Missouri, who had 11 first place votes, and the winner, Mark Mangino of Kansas, who finished with 28 out of a possible 58 votes. Jones, though, is still one of seven finalists for the ball of Paul Bear Bryant National Coach of the Year Award, which will be announced in January. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. Jones and the Warriors are still two weeks away from sharing the Sugar Bowl stage with Georgia, which has brought on a new challenge for several players during this stretch of practices, and that is keeping those anxious feelings subdued. It's been too long of time of doing practices and uh, we're just ready to get out there and play. We've been watching like a lot of film on Georgia and uh, man, we watched too much film on Georgia, but uh, we, we feel like we're, we're getting prepared. Great practices. Uh, Coach Jones has already said that, you know, he's impressed with how sharp we've been. Um, the offense has been doing really well. I know the defense has been putting in some new stuff, but you know, we're just kind of setting the game plan right now and you know, obviously things won't really turn up for another couple of days. Well, you try not to turn it into a grind, you know, you try to keep them uh, sharp in the mind just as they are, and you don't want to get in a routine, so I try to change things up, you know, not go seven days of the same stuff, and today we focused, took the pads off, focused a little more on some certain things, both sides of the ball, and, you know, the kids plugged in again three days in a row. Of course, you can catch the action of the Sugar Bowl right here on KHON2. Fox coverage begins at 3 p.m. Hawaii time, New Year's Day. And don't forget, Sunday, De December 30th, Season of Destiny countdown to the Sugar Bowl. That will air here on KHON2 at 6.30 p.m. with a replay, New Year's Day at 2.30, leading into the Sugar Bowl coverage. Warrior head football coach June Jones finished third today in the AP's Coach of the Year race. Kansas lead man Mark Mangino, who led the Jayhawks to a school record 11 wins and an Orange Bowl bid, got the nod with 28 of the possible 58 votes. Jones received seven votes. In his ninth season at Manoa, J.J. led the Warriors to a 12-0 record, standing as the only team in major college football to finish a 2007 regular season undefeated. How is practice coming for you? Is it sharp enough? Is it where it needs to be? Yeah, no, I mean, we've had three really good days of practice. Everybody's concentrating, working hard, and having fun, and that's what, we, what it's about. Um, the offense has been doing really well. I know the defense has been putting in some new stuff, but you know, we're just kind of setting the game plan right now, and, you know, obviously things won't really turn up for another couple of days. How's it going, everybody? Warrior football team continued to work out this morning in preparation for their New Year's Day showdown with Georgia in the Sugar Bowl. Now, despite wanting to strap it up right now, 2007 WAC champs knowing that pacing themselves is key. Well, you try not to turn it into a grind, you know. You try to keep them uh, sharp in the mind just as they are, and you don't want to get in a routine, so... I try to change things up, you know, not go seven days of the same stuff. We got about six days of practice, so we got to fly in for another week of practice. So we're just taking our time right now. We're not in any hurry, just enjoying ourselves and getting ready. 
are you at a place where you wish the game was sooner than it was? Uh, I, w I wish it was, just so they didn't have as much time to prepare for us, <laughs> you know, because they're pretty good. Oh, yeah, I'm getting kind of tired out here practicing, and uh, uh, it's ready to go already, you know, seeing boys out there getting ready for their game. Uh, yeah, we're all psyched up, we're all ready, but you know, just got to take it slow for now, so. We all know how big it is. Uh, it's big for the state of Hawaii, and it's big for us players. To be honest, I'm just calling the days to go by. I can't wait. I'm excited to get down to New Orleans, as all the team is, and be part of uh, something that's really uh, got a chance to be something. Here's a little factoid Hawaii fans may enjoy. Warriors are currently riding a five-game win streak over teams with a mascot of a dog. Having not lost a man's best friend since 2005, Warriors and Bulldogs kick off a New Year's Day 3.30 Hawaii time. And don't forget, starting December 27th, live reports from the Big Easy with the big guy, Robert Kikaula and Dan the Man Meisenzal. Two weeks remain before the Warrior football team lines up opposite the Georgia Bulldogs in the Sugar Bowl. And as each day brings the matchup closer, all the Warriors want to do is swap their practice jerseys for their game day ones. Here's KHNL News H Jason Tang. It's been too long of time of doing practices, and uh, we're just ready to get out there and play. I'm getting kind of tired out here practicing, and uh, uh, I'm just ready to go already. You know, seeing boys out there getting ready for their game. Uh, and we're all psyched up, we're all ready. But the reality of the situation is the 10th ranked Warriors still have to wait another 13 days before they can take the field against the 5th ranked Georgia Bulldogs. However, Hawaii has kept it all in perspective. We got about six days of practice and we got to fly in for another week of practice. So we're just taking our time right now. We're not in any hurry, just enjoying ourselves and getting ready. Hawaii's also had a chance to recover from nicks and bruises. But when asked if he'd rather have the game played earlier, head coach June Jones answered in the affirmative. I wish it was just so they didn't have as much time to prepare for us, <laughs> you know, because they're pretty good. But, uh, you know, hey. Uh, our, I'm excited to get down to New Orleans, as all the team is. As for the Bulldogs, they've already put together one surefire way to stop the potent Warrior offense. One of the best defenses for a great offense is keeping them off the field. So as long as we control the ball and, and, and hold as much as possible, it kind of help our defense out a little bit. Hawaii isn't worried about the offensive statistics, though. They've only got one goal in mind. We just need to win that football game, you know, whether we, 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 we put up the big offensive numbers or not. You know, we just got to win. Jason Tang, KHNL News 8. And to stay focused, the Warriors have closed practice to the public. However, fans can come and get autographs from coaches and players one last time on Saturday between noon and 1 o'clock. Keeping with the Warrior theme, head coach June Jones finished third in voting for the Associated Press Coach of the Year Award. Kansas's Mark Mangino took top honors, followed by Gary Pinkell of Missouri. Jones collected seven of the 58 votes after leading Hawaii to its first ever undefeated season and, of course, of the birth in the Sugar Bowl, New Year's Day. And we're heading there with the team, KHNL News 8 and K5, the home team, teaming up to bring you the most extensive coverage of the Warriors' greatest season. Our live reports from New Orleans begin December 27th on New Year's Eve. We'll be going live. We're talking about New Year's live in New Orleans. You're going to be able to watch the clock turn 12, when it's what, 8 o'clock here. It's a Sugar Bowl preview on K5, live from New Orleans to Honolulu. Then immediately after the game, Hawaii Georgia's showdown. It is a post-game show back on K5, again, originating from New Orleans and live shots from Honolulu and some of the places around here where people are watching the greatest season. And if you missed the special last night, you can watch it online at khnl.com. It is also to be replayed Saturday, December 22nd at 9.30 p.m. following K5 News at 9. So